Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the bull tool and a really hacky way of creating uh, all kinds of different geometry. I mean, it's kind of limited. If you know uh, add-ons like hard ops or uh, box cutter from Blender, you know how powerful they are in terms of Boolean tools. In Cinema 4D, you don't really have anything like that, but you can still use your typical bool and uh, get pretty nice results and uh, clean mesh. Anyway, let me show you how it's done. And uh, you know, from there you can apply in your own workflow and uh, maybe create some cool shapes. Uh, this is what I created recently. Uh, I was just messing around. Uh, so let me show you how to uh, apply all the techniques that I use in terms of using uh, booleans. So let me just delete this. Uh, let's start with the cube. Uh, let's scale this up and let's begin. Uh, so let's create our first bull. Let's rename it first and drop the cube inside the bull. And now let's duplicate the cube and drop it as a child. And now let's move it around and create our first uh, cut. So maybe let's scale this up. Something like this as the first one. Uh, let's duplicate the same cube. Uh, drop as a child of uh, so we have you know uh, if you look inside the uh, boolean we have uh, shape a or type a and type b so this is a b and this is the child of b so now let's move it somewhere else and get another cut going so maybe let's subtract it from the back here and duplicate make it a child and let's bring this other side I try using uh, symmetry uh, for this. It doesn't really work. So that's why I'm doing it manually. And let's continue. Uh, let's duplicate. Let's, let's go in the middle here and cut it from the top. And maybe bring it in here, cut inside. Something like this. I'll uh, just check it from the top view here. Make sure it's nice and decent. Okay, uh, let's make more cuts and uh, break this geometry as much as possible. And, af and after when I'm done, I'll show you how to uh, uh, clean, uh, clean up your mesh as well. Uh, so let's drop this as a child and let's bring it in here somewhere. And actually let's do something different. What we're gonna do for this one is make a bunch of cuts on the side here and what I'm going to do is uh, make this editable by clicking C uh, going inside faces uh, command or control A right click and uh, let's do um, clone and let's bring the offset to zero and let's try on the Y axis no definitely not the Y let's try Z yes yeah, definitely Z and now let's uh, bring it maybe in here and increase uh, the amount of clones and increase the offset as well. Uh, so maybe something like this should work. Uh, let's go back to object mode. And uh, this is what we have so far. And now we can just take this and uh, bring it to the other side as well. So that's good. Let's just double check, make sure everything's working. And it, it is. And uh, let's create another cube. Uh, just one more cut and make it a child and uh, let's see what we can do here if it let us as soon as it starts breaking like this uh, basically what it means you have to create another boolean another one of these uh, so let's just try to position it maybe somewhere in the middle uh, see if we can get this to work so let's do something like this and scale this up and yeah that's good for now and what you have to do now is uh, click on your bull and make sure you hide new edges. And uh, this is what we got so far. And now let's create another Boolean and continue cutting. So let's hide this, uh, create another bull, uh, rename it second. And uh, drop the first bull and uh, as a child of the second bull. And make sure your second bull has uh, hide new edges selected as well. And now let's uh, continue cutting. Uh, let's actually try some cylinders in here. So cylinder, drop it in here. And as you can see, it's already working. So let's do a 90. 
I'll bring this up, scale it up, and it's going to be our first little hole, just like this. Maybe let's do two, that's smaller, and duplicate the cylinder, drop as a child, I'll bring it down, and that's good. Let's make a couple more holes on the other side here. Drop it as a child. So far, so good. Everything's working. And that's good. So let's create another bowl and continue cutting. So we got some holes in here. Uh, let's hide this, hide this, create another bowl. Drop the second bowl as a child of the, of the third bowl. And let's bring in more cubes. And let's keep cutting away in here. So let's do maybe something like this. And make sure you hide the new edges as well. You can do it later, but I just find it distracting a little bit. So uh, let me just click C, make it editable, go inside uh, the geometry, uh, control A, and let's clone this again. Uh, let's bring the offset to zero. Let's dial the clones to three. And let's uh, try the Y, no, and I think it's X this time. So let's do the offset, something like this. Let me just zoom out so I can see it better. And that should work. So go back to object mode. And this is what we have so far. Uh, let's create more cubes. Uh, drop it as a child. And let's keep cutting away this thing so maybe let's uh, scale this up yeah, that's good uh, let's do one more drop it as a child and uh, hopefully you can see the process here you just kind of uh, keep cutting away at this cube creating all kinds of small little details and from here, let's just drop one more. Oops, make sure you have it in the right order. And that's so far so good. Maybe, maybe we can try something like this. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks good. Now let's do one more for this bull. Uh, scale this way down and bring this up as you can see it's already breaking the geometry so basically we have to create another bull in order for this to work but maybe let's cut cut away in the back here uh, one more one more little cut in here and if you want to bevel you can uh, so what you have to do is actually uh, just make this editable and now go to your edges uh, select both edges on the on both sides and do bevel and as you guessed it, that's how you bubble your uh, objects. And now you can go back to uh, object mode. And as you can see, everything's good. Uh, so let's do one more bull. Uh, I'm pretty sure you get an idea how it works now. So let's uh, hide this one. One more bull. Uh, drop it as a child. And let's bring in uh, more shapes in here. So let's bring a hefty little cube. And let's play around and try to get a more interesting uh, cuts in here so maybe let's scale this up and make sure nothing's breaking so we'll just double check and so far so good and yeah let's keep it this way and uh, duplicate it make as a child and now let's scale this down maybe make some cuts in the back here I'll bring this a little bit up and I'll just scale this all the way and move it down and let's do this on the other side so duplicate drop as a child I'll move it to the other side let's try to match the same depth and uh, don't forget to hide uh, new edges on the new bull and this is our fourth and you can continue with this, uh, you know, as as complex as we, as you want, basically. 
Uh, so this is what we have so far. Let's just do a couple more. Maybe I'll do one more bull uh, just to make this really crazy. Uh, let's drop one maybe in here. Uh, we do have a hole in there, so you have to be careful. But uh, looks like it's letting us do it, so should be should be okay. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Let's maybe scale this up. So far, so good. And uh, let's just do one more bull just to see if we can break this thing. Uh, so let's create one more. Oops. Uh, Dropper as a child, so this is going to be our fifth. And let's do our cube one more time. Drop it as a child. And scale this down. And don't forget to hide new edges. And now let's, uh, yeah, let's make some cool insets in here. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. Let me just bring this down. Maybe something like this. And now what I'm going to do is bevel the edge here. So I'm going to make this editable by clicking C. And let me just select uh, this edge here and bevel it. And let me increase the subdivision. And double check everything's working. Yes. And duplicate. And let's move it to the other side. Turn this around. 180. Something like this. Try to match the other side better. And uh, this we have so far. And uh, obviously you can keep cutting. So maybe let's do one more cut. Drop as a child. As you can see, you can really get nice results. Uh, even though you know Cinema 4D doesn't really allow you to get any you know, clean booleans. Uh, but I'll show you how to um, add a bevel modifier after make it look pretty decent. And uh, let's do another uh, bevel in here. So I'm going to uh, make this editable. Just drop it as a child. And try to select. Oops. Try to select this edge here. Uh, click B bevel. And do the same thing. Go back to the object mode. And uh, yeah, this is what we have so far. So this is five different booleans. And uh, as you can see, you can keep cutting away and creating really cool shapes. Uh, but now I'm going to show you how to clean this up. So what you have to do first is uh, take all of your booleans and all of the objects, select them, and do object, uh, connect object plus delete. And now we have a single object, as you can see here. Uh, now you do command A and just make sure uh, all your normals are facing you. Uh, nothing is blue. So in my case, all of it's yellow, so it's all good. Uh, now go back to your points. Do command A and just optimize a few times. Optimize, optimize. Now go back to your object mode. And now all you have to do is uh, go to modifiers, bevel, and drop it as a child of, uh, of our shape. And as you can see, it's already working. It's given us the beveling. So now all we have to do is uh, maybe let's increase the offset 1.5. Uh, bring the subdivisions up quite a bit and also to get rid of these extra edges what you have to do is do uh, use angle and increase to maybe 60 just to make sure and now there you go you really have a nice and clean uh, shape and all the bevels are there and uh, you know everything's working and then just to prove that it's clean I'll uh, just set up a quick little scene so I'm gonna do uh, plane Put on the bottom here. Uh, let me just select and create a few lights. Let's have one to the right. Oops. And scale this up. And let's do area shadows. Fall off inverse squared accurate. And this is gonna be a first light. And let's duplicate this from the top view. Turn this around 180 and we just have one more light. Turn this around, bring it back just like this. And now let's give it a quick render. And also I'm going to apply this Denel shader to our shape. And let's do it to the floor as well. 
and let's see what kind of result we can uh, get out of this. So I'm just render this out. So as you can see, guys, uh, this is the render it just finished. You know, I didn't set up the lighting correctly; it's kind of messed up. But as you can see, uh, all of the geometry is, uh, you know, clean. There's no breaks. Uh, there's nothing, uh, you know. There's no pinching going on. Uh, all the bullions are clean. And uh, like I showed you before, you can continue cutting away and uh, get a pretty decent result uh, playing around with bullions. Even though, uh, you know, in Cinema 4D, bullions are not really a good thing to use. Hopefully this video helped you in any way. Please subscribe, uh, leave a like on this video, and uh, enjoy using bullions, guys. Uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.